Dr. Barrasso, the president says any talk of a death panel, I'm holding up a newspaper here, is simply dishonest. Do you view that as dishonest? And as someone who has legitimate questions about the cost of this bill, the scope of government involvement in this bill, Senator Barrasso, does it hurt your cause if things are being said and distributed that are misleading or take things out of context? You don't want anything to be misleading, but you want people to have the facts. And the Senate bill, the HELP Committee bill, John, the, the, this, is, this is it. And it's not been bound together. This is what they came out with the committee four weeks ago. And the reason they haven't bound it together is because they don't want to put a price tag on it yet. People want to read this all across America. We have the House bill, which is this thousand-page bill. People want to read what's in the Senate HELP bill hasn't been bound together so they don't have a score on it because there's going to be sticker shock again. So I think when people can't get a copy of the bill to read, they, they may come up with ideas that say, gee, what does this really mean? But I think some of this is so poorly put together and written that it can lead to different conclusions. But you talk about misleading. I mean, yesterday, and you played the tape of the president continuing to talk about, you know, you can keep the policy you want, you can keep what you have. Then why in, the, in, the, in his uh, town hall meeting yesterday did he immediately after saying that, go and say, but we're going to get rid of Medicare Advantage, a program that 11 million seniors in this country have, 3,000 in Wyoming, many in every congressional district, a program that actually does some things with prevention, does some things with coordinated care that Medicare doesn't do. These are programs that people like, 11 million seniors have this Medicare Advantage. The president wants to eliminate it in terms of saving money, cutting costs to Medicare. So I think he has to be cautious in terms of the things that he's saying as well, because in the same, in the same town hall meeting, he says one thing and then, and then actually flips and says something very different about allowing people to keep what care they have. I, I want to work together uh, with all people. My wife's a breast cancer survivor. Mike Enzi's wife is a, is, a, is a colon cancer survivor. We know about pre-existing conditions. We know about the need to reform. I know it from the standpoint of being a doctor as well as, uh, you know, from from at home with my wife. We, we've seen all the different sides of this. We need health care reform. It affects one-sixth of our economy. It matters to everybody in this country. We can do a much better job. We don't need a government takeover of health care, and we can do it without spending this incredible amount of money that, uh, that we right now as a nation cannot afford.